Hey guys, it's Samantha. We're out here on Willow Lake today. We're going to try to go upriver and catch some fish. So first we're going to catch some bait. We're going to take a look at the fish finder and see all that bait that's on there. Now we're going to switch it over to Matt. Oh yeah, that's what we're that's what we're after. That's that fresh bait we're chasing. Yeah. All right, guys. One throw and we're done. One throw and we're done for the day. This is the key to catching big blue cat flatheads. You know, camel cat will eat anything, but this is the key to bigger trophy fish. We're gonna get the tank ready here behind us and get everything up on the on the board. Go over some gear that we're gonna use for the day. Um, and we'll see you out on the water and hopefully we'll catch some big fish today. Have a good one. Yep. Hi right, guys, welcome back. We got the bait. We're gonna hit the Tennessee River today. Uh, we're here on Wheeler Lake. Uh, we're gonna go upstream today, up past the um, meow mix down here and uh, go upstream and see what we can find. Um, still pretty flooded out here. Current's still rushing pretty good. So same thing as before when we fish flooded waters, we're gonna hit current seams today. Um, we're getting ready to launch, we're getting ready to send it, um, we'll get out there, we'll go over a little bit of the gear we're using today, we might talk about the catfish, catfish conference just a little bit during the video here, uh, we had a great time yesterday, so here we go, time to send it. Alright guys, we made it to our first spot today. We are going to fish this freshly down tree here. It looks like it's clogged up a bunch of junk underneath of it. We actually marked quite a few fish sitting underneath that tree all along the ledge here. So our goal is we're going to throw some cut bait here. We're going to cut up some shad. We're going to start with a couple big pieces and a couple small pieces, kind of see what they want and what they're going to take. What we're going to be using today is the XM heavies and the medium heavy slime cat rods as always dependable rod you know if we hook a big one here we know that we got the equipment to land it i've talked about quality so many times especially on hooks so today we are going to use the nocturnal nation thick wire pig sticker i mean i love these hooks because i act like a circle hook or if we get on a flat head that's like to be really finicky here we can set the hook and pierce his lip every time with these. Super sharp, always be careful. Um, a couple of the rods are going to have demon dragons on them. We're going to put floats on all of them today just to get them up above the brush pile a little bit, especially since we're going to fish some nasty brush today. Um, seems to be where the fish have been holding lately. So stay tuned. We're going to get these out here and hopefully we get on a big one and show it to you guys. Alright, we're going to cut up the gizzard chat here today. This is how I like to cut up. I'm going to give them a couple different cuts here. We're going to give them just a straight up head here. This is the bloodiest part I like. We're going to give them a, a decent body section to talk about. I'm not going to use that right now. This one we're going to fillet down the side. Nice fillet down here. Get that back bone wide open, let it bleed. I'm actually going to throw a fillet. Another bloody head. And another side cut as well. Tails here. I'm just going to go over there for the guardy. <laughs> Other than that, this is what we're going to toss. Let me get these in the water and we'll get back to you. That was a good hit. Let's get up here and we'll drive one. Well, left hand turn. Right hand turn. I know my left and right. 
my here we might get the skunk out of the boat finally it's only our second stop we've only been out here for an hour but we are fishing some brush some nasty brush you can see that one there and then there's a current seam full of gar that's probably about 200 gar in there and then down there's another brush pile and there's a seam that runs between these two brush piles so She's got this on the medium heavy, I think, or is an XM medium heavy? I can't really tell. We'll talk about it when it's done. I was on a pig sticker. You saw me set the hook. He was being a little finicky with it, so I didn't treat it like a circle hook. I just went up there and put the smack on him. So he's out there spinning in circles, so he's not a big, big one, but I think it's a flathead, to be honest. I see that big mouth hanging up out of the water out there. We've been on a flathead kick lately, and the water's only 46 degrees today, so if we catch a flathead, it is a flathead. I can see it out there. That big old chopper, he got his mouth open in the current. His current is rolling. And he's hitting on the brakes. I can get a bite right here, too. Might get a double, you know. I'm trying to keep the camera a little more steady than normal. Well, you better get him out of the other line. Trying to get us tangled up. It's trying to make a mess. So we're at the Catfords conference yesterday, but we drove home last night because this is what we wanted to do this morning. We got to meet a lot of good people out there. Corey and Ryan from Nocturnal Nation. They gave us a good care package to bring home with us. So there's some new goodies in there to come. We'll out here doing a few things. So might go over that later on. Right now, she's trying to drag this wintertime flathead in. This is our, we've caught a flathead for the last three weekends in a row. This one came off a cut piece of shad. Here it comes. <laughs> How's that current, babe? <laughs> <laughs> it's still flooded out here. Nothing's changed the last couple weekends, and we've caught fish every weekend. Nothing big, nothing huge, but it's been, you know, action's action, and any fun, any fish is fun to catch, except channel cat. I hate those piranhas. And the slime cat, you know. Handles it in the current just fine. We got to hang out with the guys from Pipeline yesterday as well at the Cat Friends Conference. Those guys are awesome. Um, if you ever need any reel tuning or you know some super tune reels that cast from here to you know space, them guys are your guys. They will they will super tune, grease, fix reels that are broken. They have reels for sale. I mean, great bunch of guys. They're local here with us in Limestone County so it's nice having a local shop that's close so look at this flathead and that pig sticker stuck right in the bottom lip so like I said it's a pretty fish let me put the camera down we're gonna get him in the boat and uh, we'll continue to record here and we're alright with it I'm sorry let me get this adjusted just a hair Let me get the grips on them. It's not quite net worthy. Sam's little flathead right there. She's probably about like a little 10 pounder. Look right here. Look sticker. at this piercing from this pig sticker. Straight through the bottom. Straight through the bottom on a good set. Uh, we yanked that one. So that was a set, a manual set, not a reel down set. So Sam's going to get that out of his mouth. Take a couple good little looks at this. This is a pretty fish. Oh! Oh no. You have to cut that out, babe. Oh my, God. oh my goodness, she just did a hit run. Alright, we'll put it on the blooper reel. 
Good looking <laughs> colors. Look at that. Look at that hat. Show us that mouth. Even for some small ones, they got some big old mouths. So, all right. Well, skunks out of the boat. Let's see the release. We don't ever keep any flatheads normally. If you are going to eat some fish, that's more than all right. That is everybody's right. And if you were going to eat a fish, this is probably the perfect size to eat. So, but we're not going to eat it. We're going to let it go. Let him go. He's good. He ain't not been out of the water very long. And he's making the barrel roll and he's gone. All right, guys. Again, thanks for the slime cat rods. Helped us get it in. Thanks for the Nocturnal Nation uh, hooks. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them. If you're a circle hook guy, check out the Eclipse, the Lucky 13. If you are a flathead fisherman, check out the pig stickers. They are going to be what our go-to hook are for the flathead season coming up here soon. Well, we're going to get back to it. Hopefully you can get a bigger one today. And stay tuned. Alright guys, we're on our third fish of the day. Our second fish of the day. Or second fish, third <laughs> spot of the day. Hey. <laughs> we have been on a flathead roll lately, the last three weekends. Fishing some brush piles today. What we got over here, she'll show you, is a, we got a little pocket and then it comes down real shallow, about 10 foot deep, and then it drops right off into 40 foot right here. And then there's a piece of wood in the 40 foot hole. And that seems to be where they're at. Another little flathead. A good hook set. Right in the corner of the mouth. A piece of bait caught on a this body of uh, shad there. I'm not going to show the hook yet because we're testing out a hook at the moment. So, maybe. But it is a hook from Nocturnal Nation. A Nocturnal Nation hook, but hooked the crap out of it. Look at the top of his nose. From nosing in the in the in the brush pile down there, trying to probably get him a piece of food out of there, or something like that. Another pretty pretty fish. Yeah, beautiful speckles. Anything. Another nice winter time. 48 degree water. Flathead. So here we go. We're gonna release him. Get the flying cat out of the way here. Down there. He's already here. Feisty little dude. <laughs> and gone. he's gone. Alright, let's see what Matt got on his live bait over here. That was cut bait. Oh, yeah, oh. those uh, fillets. Mm -hmm. Oh, those, are, yeah, yeah it's true. Tiny fish. But a fish is a fish. It's a channel cat. <laughs> Negative three. Negative three? <laughs> not a bad looking fish. It's not a bad fly. But it is a channel cat. About the same size as your flathead was. I want to show this hook set. I'll have to show those hooks later. Look at this nice, it's super yellow. Super yellow. Hopefully, we get another fish out of here because we marked some good fish coming in here. So, it's a cool looking little fish. Oh, I should take a picture. You want a picture? There you go. He's out of here. 
I'm just trying to get a bigger one. <laughs> this rod right here just got buried. Finally a good fish that decided to be aggressive. Let's we'll see what it eats. Does it feel big? Because he sure about ripped it off the back of the boat. Plus it's coming towards the boat right now. It's, uh, it's oh, another flathead though. Another flathead. We've caught no blues today. Three flathead and a channel cat. They swam in the drift sack. Just let them float back out. You gotta get the weight off of it though. There you go. Wait, that, that wasn't your live one, was it? Another pretty flat head. It's the biggest one of the day so far. It's on the rafter. That one's on the rafter. Nocturnal Nation Raptor. It's a good looking little fish. Yeah, male. <laughs> he, like he, he sure hit it like a ton of bricks. We weren't even paying attention. Let her take the hook out of his mouth. That's the biggest one of the day, I think. Looks like just like the one earlier I caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little fish still got a big old male. It's the same thing. Got a rough little spot on the top of his head from nosing rocks. Uh, that's a cool looking fish. We're gonna let it go. Ready? And here's the release. As always from us. Don't fall in the water. Hold on. And he bit your finger. Don't swim in the drift sock. <laughs> and he's gone. You got it going? Yeah. Alright. We've had some crazy takedowns here tonight. We finally got one buttoned up. This is gonna be a pig. I should probably turn on the back. He's just pulling so hard. So hard. Ugh. I told you, maybe a third time's a charm. <laughs> Woo! Oh, got Dang! Oh, <laughs> oh, actually, just smashed it. Alright okay, guys, I'll be back in one minute. I'm gonna go turn on the back lights. Okay. Alright, we are back. What? to watch the videos. We're going to get some deck lights here eventually. Shine down on I know how big this fish is. We brought our scale today. <laughs> we didn't forget it like last time. Is it up at the water now? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You haven't seen him at all yet? Keeping his head down. We're in current, but we're not in that bad of current. We're 
current, some actual line is part of the current. So it's definitely gonna be a, a pitcher fish. Look at that heavy cat. Oh, that's a heavy slime cat rod right there. Look at the work. He's got that thing folded over. You want to trade? No. Will we take over? <laughs> you might actually get to see it here in a second. He's only down there about seven, eight feet under the water. Bending that rock. You know, love it when it bends over. My back still hurts from walking around yesterday. Look at that bend. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a good fish, fellas. This is going to be a good fish, guys. If you like these videos, you know, check them out on YouTube, Smash It Catfishing. Go hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to put out two or three a month if we can. If you have some requests, let us know. So right here at the moment, we're going to enjoy this moment on these sign cat rods. Definitely gonna be a 50 plus fish or bigger. Wanna throw some guesses on it, man? I'm gonna go 67 pounds. You're gonna say 67? Mm-hmm. How about 72 pounds? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Ooh, I'm going big. Drag. Oh there he is. There he is back there. I haven't got a good eyeball on him yet. Let's see if he, if he wants to come out. Oh. Oh. I normally fight my fish in a different way. That's one of the heaviest fights I've made I've ever had. About as bad as a pickwick? In that current? That was current. That was a current fight with a 50 pounder. This is a. He's oh. got a little current, but there he is right there. Let's see, Let's little, see how big he is. On here. This is definitely a pig. I'm going to say still upper 50s. Upper 50s, you think? That's something I haven't seen. I haven't gotten close enough to the boat to see him yet. He might be in the 60s. Don't go to the engine. Oh, guys, I'm just absolutely tired. It's, this fish is wearing me out. They got a got mouth open in that current now. Sorry to say, but we're going to put the camera down since we don't have the tripod and we're going to land this fish and we'll come back with a weight and a release video here in just a few minutes. So stay tuned and we'll be right back with you. Alright, we finally got this fish in the net. It's a pig. So here it comes. If I can even get it over there to the boat here. There's one. Oh, yeah! What did I say, 67? You said 67, I said 72. We got a new pretty, we got a new weighing sling. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the test it out today. We bought it yesterday. You wanna turn this duck light to the deck? There you go, much better. I can say guys, we're gonna process of getting some new camera equipment to make some better video. And we're also getting some new lighting put up on the deck up here. So we don't have to worry about spinning lights here soon. Put my bridges up here. Look at this pig sticker. Look, there's the point. 
Let's see if we can get his mouth open. And that's through the bone. That's going to take a second to get out of there. So let me find some pliers here. There we're on that seat. Get this big pig sticker out of his mouth. This right here is the 9 of the 10. It is a 9 knot pig sticker heavy gauge. You cannot go wrong with these. Great hook, guys. Great hook. Check them out, you know, on their Facebook page, Nocturnal Nation. If you want to check out the rods? That's www.slimecat. Oh, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. www.slimecatrods.com. All right, let's. Let's get it out of the net and then we're gonna get a weight on it. Oh, yeah! Look at that! It's a monster right there. That's a pig. Oh my god. That's a pig. Alright, guys, we'll give us a couple minutes to get it in the sling. We'll get it on the weight, show the weight on the camera here in just a second. Alright, guys, we got the net, or we got the fish inside the sling. We bought this sling yesterday, it's um, RS Net. Um, we bought it at the Cat, Catfish Conference. Um, I think they got a website too if you want to check these out. Uh, they make some good net. Nets are made of rubber, so it doesn't scratch the fish all up. But we're going to grab us a, a weight on this guy here. Make sure it's all zeroed out. All zeroed out. And I said 67 when we were reeling it in, she said 72. Oh. Get a different weight on it. I know we're both off, but let me get a re zero here. Hang on. How do you zero it? Right there. So it's zero now? Yep. Alright, here we go again. It's only going to go about 56. Six. 56 pounds. Still a pig? Ooh, what a great time in my back. It's killing me. Fishing on the Tennessee River out here at Wheeler this evening. Just fishing up here right on the ledge near some shallow water. Nothing special. A little brush pile down there. Now we've been fishing all day. We've caught, I think we caught two flatheads. Three flatheads, flat one channel. A channel with no size. And now this guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead and release him right now. You don't want pictures? Oh yeah. We'll be back. We're going to take some pictures and we'll get the release video as well. Guys, 56 pounds. We're going to release back to the depths here. We'll CPR on it. He's already ready. I'll get my hand off. Like I said, guys, go check out the videos. We have a couple more on there. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good evening.